What's going on YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a mail day recap video. I have a couple pickups for my Phillies PC and my Orioles PC. Got some really cool stuff to share with you guys. Also got one TTM that's that has came in. It is a spring train return and I also am going to be doing a video response for Eastern Connecticut sports cards. Uh, he's running a really cool contest so stay tuned for that. Going to plug that up and give my response. Uh, but first, let me show my uh, PC pickups. Uh, these are all Phillies cards. Got these all off eBay and got these all for really, really great prices. Uh, this first card here is out of 2013 Topps Tribute. This is numbered out of 25. Got this for a great price. Been eyeing this card up for a while. But it is of Mr. John Cruck. Signed beautifully there in blue Sharpie on card autograph. So really, really happy about that. It's the back of the card. So really cool there. My first uh, Kruk autograph. Uh, next, I got a 2013 Topps Archives fan favorites autograph here. On card autograph of Juan Samuel. Signed there in blue Sharpie. So really nice there. Really like that. Got that for a great price. Five bucks ship, so really happy about that. To add that to the Phillies collection. And this next card here is out of 2012 Topps Triple Threads. Uh, numbered out of 50. This guy is no longer on the Phillies, but uh, he's doing really well for the Pirates. Uh, this is a nice on-card autograph of Mr. Vance Worley, the Vanimal. So really cool there. Got this for super cheap, under five bucks, shipped on eBay. So happy about that. Mr. Vanimal. And the next card I got, this guy was posting a whole bunch of PSA DNA certified autographs. And he had a ton of cards, I mean a ton. Late 40s, early 50s, a lot of really nice named Phillies, and a lot of really nice named early Orioles. Uh, a lot of them went for a lot of money, um, and I was able to scoop up this card. Somehow this card fell through the cracks and only sold for $10.50, so I was really excited that I got such a great deal on this card because it costs $15 just to get these cards. Uh, certified and slabbed, uh, but this is a 1954 Bowman of Dwayne Pillett, signed beautifully in blue pen, I believe it is. Zoom in a little closer here. Really, really clean signature. And there's the top of it, 1954 Bowman, Dwayne Pillett, authentic auto. Really, really nice card. So super excited about this. If you guys don't know uh, about Dwayne's career, he was actually the first pitcher in Orioles history to get a win for the club. So he's the first pitcher ever to get a win for the Baltimore Orioles. Um, he also holds the distinction of being the last pitcher ever to record a decision for the St. Louis Browns, who eventually became the Baltimore Orioles when they moved out of St. Louis. Uh, he also played on the Yankees. I believe he was on one of their World Series teams in the late 1940s. And his final career was actually with the Phillies. So he's a dual PC guy. Unfortunately, he did pass away back in 2011. So he has been deceased uh, for a couple years now. Uh, so I was really, really excited to uh, add an autograph of him to my collection. And I got it for a great, great, great price. Cannot... Uh, I'll buy any autograph any day slapped for ten fifty. That's just really, really great. So I'm really happy about that. So solid addition there for my O's PC. And then next, the TTM. It's coming out of Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. It is coming back from Mr. Steve Delabar. So signed there in black Sharpie. Forget how long this took. I'm pretty sure it was under 30 days. But a solid relief pitcher for the Blue Jays was on the All-Star team last year, and uh, got it for my set. That this is the uh, the 2012 updated series. So 
happy to get that. So at least something's coming in for spring training. I know I sent out to a like three or four guys that I've seen people get back already on cards. So I'm getting a little concerned that those haven't come back yet because uh, the two of them in particular was a quick turnaround and it's been a couple weeks now and nothing. But who knows, maybe they'll be coming in soon. Excuse me. And uh, the video response for Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards, uh, he's running a contest, a 300 sub contest. And he has given away a hobby box of any product that you guys want, but it has to be minimum at least $100, no more than 100 Or if you don't want to do that, he will PayPal you $100. And I'm going to say this right now. If I win this contest, there is no way Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards that I'm, that I'm going to accept $100 because that is way too much generosity, man. Um... So if I do win this contest, please do not send me $100. Like I said, way too much generosity, dude. That is just going above and beyond, going over over the limit in the generosity to uh, be sending that out uh, for a contest winner. So I'm just saying, man, if I do win, please do not be sending me that much money. Um... And uh, getting to his response, uh, he wants to know how we got into collecting sports cards and uh, why we do collect sports cards. And the, the way that I got into collecting was I was just a really avid baseball fan. I played baseball for a really long time when I was a, a little kid from T-ball to Little League. And I uh, was really active playing baseball, loved it. And uh, I was really big on going to games. My dad, my brother, and my mom would always take me uh, to the vet to see the Phillies and I uh, would go a lot of summers just to go uh, to the stadium and watch the Phillies play and the Phillies at that time were really really bad. This is like the 95, this is coming off the strike of 94, this is like 95 to like 99. Uh, this is the time frame and if you go look it up the Phillies were really epically bad. Uh, but uh, I just loved baseball a lot. I never really collected too much football or too much hockey or too much basketball. I was really fixated on baseball, collecting baseball cards. And uh, the first set that I really remember buying was the 93 Leaf set. Uh, you guys can check it out. Really great set. Uh, beautiful design. And uh, the back of the cards have the city skylines. And that was one of the big reasons that I loved uh, loved those cards. And I remember I would used to go to Clovers and Caldors. Uh, they were department stores. If you, uh, you older, you guys my age know what I'm talking about. But you younger guys, like those stores don't exist anymore. I, I'm, like, they were pretty much the version of Target. Um, but those stores are dead and gone. And uh, I would always go there and pick up packs of '93 Leaf and uh, enjoy busting them. Uh, so I was really into autographs too because I, when I would go to the games I would try to get autographs of some players you know on baseballs or cards and eventually as I got to become a teenager I did get out of card collecting I just got through that adolescent stage where I just wasn't collecting and uh, about like five or six years ago I really got in back into collecting because I noticed that uh, the card companies now had autograph cards, and when I was collecting, they didn't have autograph cards. The big thing, the big lore, uh, the hits, so to speak, were the rookie cards. So when these companies started producing autograph cards, that really piqued my interest because I was always into autographs, always getting, always into getting autographs. So the fact that I can add an autograph of like one of my favorite players, um, whoever that may be, was really alluring to me. So I would go on eBay and I would pick up maybe a single here or a single there. And eventually it really got me back into collecting. And uh, I really still love collecting the autograph cards. As you can see, I showed a couple already. And I really just always stick to my PCs, my, you know, the Phillies, the Sixers, the, the, the Eagles, the Flyers, and the Baltimore Orioles. So two baseball teams and then one football team, one hockey team, and uh, one uh, basketball team. So that's really pretty much all I do. And uh, with my card collection, I mean, that's what I'm really focused on. And um, that's how I pretty much go about the way I go about collecting. 
Um, I don't really bust expensive products or you know do expensive box breaks because the way I look at it is I just rather go on eBay and buy my singles. Uh, but that's just me, and not everyone's like me. Some people l love busting, and uh, I love busting too. But some of the products are just too much. I just rather get guaranteed what I'm going to get, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's really how I got into collecting and why I still collect. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that, Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. And thanks, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And please go check out this channel and get involved in this contest and make a response because it's video response only. So thanks, guys, for watching. And peace. Hope everyone out there is doing well, by the way. Take care.